So this is NYC Council Member Eric Botcher. Tonight, the drag story hour protesters came to my apartment building and gained entry. My super called the cops and two of them were arrested for trespassing. This is pure hate unmasked. If they think this is going to intimidate us, they're mistaken. Our resolve is strengthened. Yeah, they just called him a groomer a whole bunch. And apparently they, they spelled his last name as Bitcher. Very clever. Eric Botcher is a pedo child groomer. Yeah, they just wrote in chalk. So this was a whole saga that I missed. Today, people who call themselves gays against groomers vandalize the hallway outside our district office. We will not be cowed. We will not be silenced. We will continue to stand up against hate. Bitcher. I feel that's like as that's as funny as let's go Brandon. But of course, gays against groomers are involved in this. These are the people who should not be allowed to claim the OG pride flag. Yeah, these are ex like gays against groomers type group are the exact group that are going to claim the OG pride flag. Wait, they've been ID'd? Guardians of Divinity is a group of far-right conspiracy theorists in New York City who met with anti-vax protests. Following the Proud Boys invading a drag story hour in CA, the group began focusing on DSH. Their rhetoric plus behavior has become more violent in the past four months. Yeah, Guardians of Divinity. Like, fucking Marvel-ass motherfuckers. Video of the drag story hour protesters physically attacking one of my neighbors last night. <laughs> Got pushed. It's crazy how far this stuff goes. This is what the anti-drag story hour mob subjected my staff to at our office before they vandalized the hallway. It's definitely going to get worse. But we all knew that. We've all been covering this for a long time. I would love to be in drag and read the Bible to the children. How come you don't have police officers reading to the kids? How come you don't have firefighters reading to the kids? How come you don't even have a circus clown reading to the kids? I would drag love, queens. I would love What's to read the Bible. Bible. What's up with that? Is it grooming the mirror? What about the Bible? Can I read the Bible? Can I read the Bible? Why don't they set this up? Why don't they set it up so police officers and firefighters and circus clowns read to kids? No one is stopping them from setting this up. I don't children, some gay people in the community don't approve of that, and I'm one of them. What about the children? I'm one of them. The gays against grooming. They don't approve of this at all. No. And they're national, Eric. We're opposed to it, Eric. You must be another drag queen story hour. God. Awful. Homophobic protesters arrested after targeting Hell's Kitchen council member Eric Botcher's home. Two anti-drag protesters were arrested on Monday evening after getting into Hell's Kitchen council member Eric Botcher's apartment building amid an escalating campaign of homophobic targeting. The two women were arrested after a demonstration which also left the sidewalk outside Botcher's Chelsea home covered in vile slurs and followed days of the gay legislator being subjected to hate speech. On Tuesday morning, the legislators released a video where he said Said he showed members of the same group attacking one of his neighbors. Okay, yeah, the police did confirm some identities. The New York Police Department told W42ST two female individuals, without permission to do so, entered the residence and were placed under arrest, charges pending. That would be Air. Arika Sanchez, 44, of the Bronx, and Anna Morgan, 27, of Queens, charged with criminal trespassing and given a desk appearance ticket. And I am outside the house school library in Chelsea, and I want to show you the face of hate right here in Chelsea. Who are you, a pedophile? You're walking around with your fucking ugly shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Trannies against groomers. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Right in Chelsea, everyone. He's literally the only normal looking person there. All of those people are so fucking disgusting inside and out.
I'm actually blown away by this. So interestingly, and this is from today, but on December 5th, Gays Against Groomers accused Eric of sexualizing children. New York City Council member Eric Botcher just said on MSNBC that Tucker Carlson having us on his show is incredibly dangerous. The woke mob is so terrified of us, and it's because the only thing we're dangerous to is their sick agenda of sexualizing children. Let's see. Stand up and call out hate when you see it. Have in your conversations with friends and family who might be conservative, please try to get them to stand up. And I want to communicate to the people at who are working at Fox News and people who are booking people on these shows like Tucker Carlson had gays against groomers. That is incredibly, incredibly dangerous. And some of you are members of the LGBTQ community. Please, please stop, because this is manifesting itself in very hateful ways and people are getting killed. Pretty sensible. Anyone want to take a guess as to what could be on Eric Botcher's hard drive? The only reason to be against us is if you're for sexualizing children. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. It's kind of crazy how quick you go to the what's on their hard drive argument based on literally nothing. And also, just because your name on Twitter is Gays Against Groomers, anyone who is against you is automatically a pedophile. That's just fucking troll logic. So this was Gays Against Groomers' response. All of our members are in Phoenix right now, but nice try. But we will say, if you're more worried about some marker on your walls and chalk on the sidewalk rather than children being sexualized by predators, we don't feel that bad for you, Eric. And Alejandra's take was, they think what happened in New York City City Council member Eric Botcher yesterday is funny and are doubling down on it. Eric's neighbors were assaulted and two people were arrested for criminal trespassing. Maybe we should accuse everyone conservative, fascist, or liberal of such and just end climate change by circular firing squad. Well, it's a plan. I don't know how many people have tried it, but it could work.